busy day and so <laughs> sobą <laughs> Czemu taka wystraszona? No nie, po prostu szedzę na kawkę i ze sobą. Yeah, good morning to you from my kitchen. And my grandma is as usual wondering why I'm talking to myself. Yeah, she keeps mumbling about how talking to yourself is um, an illness and how I need to stop. But anyway, yeah, it's almost 10 a.m. So a bit of a late wake up, but it's Sunday. It's my day off. So I thought I'd sleep in a little. And today we have kind of a busy day. So yesterday I was talking to my grandma and I said, hey, um, I need to get more involved in this kitchen. Like, let's make something Polish. And I asked her, like, what is the easiest? What's a classic Polish meal that I can prepare that will be super easy? Because a lot of Polish food takes a lot of effort, takes a lot of preparation. And I'm not ready for that yet. So this is step one. And when I asked her, she said it was kind of like, what's well, on this shirt that I have, so I'm wearing it today. But essentially mashed potatoes or these halved potatoes, we do that often. And then like a fried meat, we're gonna do a fried pork cutlet. And then I don't think we have an open jar of pickles right now. Instead, I'm gonna go for kapusta, so like cabbage, like sauerkraut. I think in the kitchen, if I'm making food, it takes me hours. Um, I'll be on our lunch is kind of the equivalent of a US dinner and they usually happen in the afternoon hours. It's a little bit weird for me. I have to think about preparing this meal for like three p.m. as opposed to if I were making dinner we would have that around six seven a goal of 7 p.m. usually like 9 p.m. if I'm actually cooking something uh, you want to make it too my grandma thinks I can do it yeah so we're gonna get moving on that today but also yesterday I was thinking about how much I miss getting bagels on the weekend and obviously in New York City like you get a lot of big bagels and thick bagels Obviously in New York City, we had bagels all the time. On the way to work, I'd grab a bagel, especially on the weekend. That was usually a weekend treat. So yeah, I did a quick Google search and there's one place in Warsaw. It's kind of far from me, like on the other side of the city. Pictures looked really good. So I've been missing that and I'm really looking forward to try these bagels in Poland. It is a Sunday. It's almost 10 a.m. right now. I'm gonna leave the house hopefully in like 30 minutes after I charge this phone and clean up my room because I wanted to do that before I left the house. And then we'll head out to go get the bagels, show you guys what I find. Yeah, and other than that, kind of gray and very windy and gonna snow later today. So that's your weather report because I always like to include a bit on the weather. Yeah, I gotta go clean my room and charge this phone. All right, so we're off to go get the bagels now. It should be about a 40 minute commute from here right now. Uh, wish us luck. But I realized I didn't even say where we're going. So we're going to a place called Sarsa Bagels, Sarsa Baigle, um, and it's in New Prague or Nova Praga on the east side of the river and the east side of the city. So that's what we'll be. They're supposed to be open from 9 to 4 on Sundays, so I should make it. Okay, my bus is coming and I'm gonna sign up. Well, I really feel like myself again. <laughs> We're carrying a coffee. 
We've got bagels on deck. Okay, now that the wind has passed, it's been ages since I bought a coffee outside of the apartment because I'm just trying to sleep. Yeah, I've got bagels in my bag. It's a Sunday, I'm walking around. It feels, <laughs> it feels metropolitan. Lots of birds, lots of croaky around. At this stage, I was on my way home, but I thought, let me just sit down for a second, finish my coffee, find a little bench to sit at. So I was walking through this park, and as I looked for a place to sit, I came across this weird structure full of branches. I had a hard time finding a lot about this here online. All the results were in Polish, and I just... <laughs> but I found out that this is called a graduation tower, or a thorn tower. Essentially, there's... Mm -hmm. Soft water, thorns, set up, and everyone's... Maybe this guy knows. Przepraszam. W tym czy wie pan co to jest? Ale po angielsku to nie ma takiego słowa jak rozumiem, że ma tutaj woda. Chodzić? Normalnie tak, po w sezonie letnim leci woda, specjalna woda, która ma odpowiednie. No dobra, no to w lato muszę wrócić. <laughs> Dziękuję. Nice Polish guy just explained to me that the salt water interacting with these thorns and branches apparently leaves behind some mineral residue. It's really more for older people. And there's all these benches. I don't know, something new. I haven't seen anything like this before. He mentioned another place in Poland that apparently has like a really big one of these. Henchen, Henchen. I'm gonna have to look it up. I just wanted to add also like. Super obsuga. It's really nice people at this bagel place. Also, this guy, he seemed hesitant to talk to me at first, but then. But then, um, yeah, answered all my questions. The problem was that I, I started looking at my phone, but like trying to on the slide to see if I could record some of what he was saying in case I missed everything he said. And I think that's when he like got a little weirded out, but it was all good. Also, because I opened the conversation and I was like, hey, Polish? Like, you speak Polish? <laughs> like, what else is he gonna speak, Alex? Well, I guess I was just nervous. Hands are also freezing. This looks and smells delicious. I was worried this might happen, but the bagel is not cut in half, and I didn't know to ask for that. I guess I won't have time to eat this now because I'm freezing anyway, so when I get home, I'll probably just cut it in half. But It's not as big. I feel like there's not as much dough and there's not as much filling as I would find at home. Also, in addition to my salmon cream cheese bagel, I also decided to get two bagels takeaway that I'll eat this week, and I got one with poppy seed. <laughs> and maybe just a plain. So, also loving that for me. back and then the next time you know i'll just make sure to ask them if it can be toasted and if they can cut it in half but otherwise like really good bagel okay i'm satisfied i got what i wanted so cheers with my usually sundays are pretty uneventful especially during lockdown it's become quite exciting with these bagel plans and my plans to cook later excited that i've finally made it across the river to see this other side of warsaw and I'm gonna be able to report back to Babja and let her know that things look good over here. Luckily, there's not a lot going on because, again, it is a Sunday, so we're gonna head back home and get a move on with the rest of our day. I'm impressed. Finally, getting back to the kitchen, I stopped at the grocers to pick up our main three ingredients so, potatoes, sliced meat, we've got pork, and sauerkraut. I wanted to make the cabbage from scratch, but since that requires planning ahead a few days in advance, we're just buying the pre made store bought stuff. As you can see, our neighborhood grocery is stocked with options when it comes to sauerkraut. Other ingredients not purchased at the store include salt and pepper, breadcrumbs, one egg, as well as some spices that we'll add to the capusto cabbage later, which includes margarine cumin again we'll add salt and pepper and you'll need to have some kind of oil on hand oh, yeah. 
Ale w takiej było też nie. No to nie jest taka, to jest po prostu w parku. I mają takie ławki, jest napisane, żeby tam siedzieć przy tym, czy stać przy tym, ale nie więcej niż 30 minut. Za darmo. To gdzie, na jakiej ulicy? No wiem, szudna godzina. So yeah, I failed to hit the mark. I was supposed to get going on this Polish lunch way earlier, like in the afternoon. It's now 7 p.m. But we've got all the ingredients, so I see no reason why we can't still make this meal tonight. It's supposed to be quick and easy. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk anymore because I need to get to the kitchen. But I'll take you with me and we'll film all the steps along the way in case you wanna try and make this at home as well. That's the plan. I also have a ton of beans. First thing in the kitchen, tie your hair back. Nobody wants hair in their food. Babciu, jak wchodzimy do kuchni, co pierwsze rzeczy? Miemy ręce? To myślisz, że mięso pierwsze, a rzemniaki drugie? Okej. Okay. Dobrze. So wash your hands, put your hair up. And now we're gonna go get this new. Ua, mogłam by kawałka tego szynka spróbować? Może tylko jeden plaster, bo. No bo robię obiad. Papier? To już go na wiosce może. To śmietło od razu, czy bez sprzętu? Nie mówię, że jaka to jest kuchnia. To jest nadzieja. Jedna, 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 Okay, so just really quick in English, what we've been talking about. <laughs> Bofcha advises that you spend more time around the edges of the meat because it's a... The meat is The Because it's a little bit thicker, you want to make sure that your kotlet is going to be nice and thin and the same all over. In case it bothers... Ale trzeba ją gotować, tak? Jeżeli chcesz po polsku, to gotować. A i... A myślałem, że gotowo. Stawki. Mm, gotowo, do garnka. Podcedzić, mm. długo gotować. Nie, nie. To... So to make this cabbage like Polish style, we're gonna have to cook it. You don't just eat it like out of this, straight out of the bag. So we've just put the sauerkraut into a pot. We're gonna leave the cabbage to boil and it's gonna be there for about an hour boiling. Once it's done that once, we, we empty out the pot, we pour out the water and we're gonna refill it again and have it cook over a second time. Now we're on to the potatoes. <laughs> Please don't laugh at me. My grandma broke her hand last year, but can still peel potatoes faster than I can with a recovering broken hand. So I know I'm not the best. We're gonna speed this up. <laughs> As we can see with this last ugly guy, he's a little green. It's not actually a problem, we're just gonna chop off the parts that look green, so. We'll be good to go. One hour later. Put your potatoes straight into water. As soon as you've peeled them, put them into the water. You may have noticed that sometimes the potatoes, if you don't put them into water, they kind of develop these brown spots, and so this keeps them kind of fresh. Another pro tip, cut your potatoes in half. You're really hungry, so it'll cook faster. And also, if you pick a smaller pot, as you see here, Less water, it's gonna take less time to boil. 
So we're gonna turn it off halfway. Once they're about halfway cooked, just leave them and reheat them right before we're ready to plate the dish. As you can see, the kapusta is still boiling here. In the meantime, we have the stainless steel pan here heating up and we've already put coconut oil. You can fry on most oils, but definitely not butter. Okay, so while your pan is heating up, you take one egg, mix it up in a bowl. We've got our meat ready here. We're gonna put salt and pepper on this meat, and then we've got the bulka tarta on this plate. Any brand of bulka tarta, breadcrumb. Uh, essentially, like with most meats, I mean, I don't know if you're a novice like me. You put salt and pepper onto the meat, then you let the meat swim in a little bit of egg, and then you cover it in breadcrumb. So, three quick steps. Now that we've cooked and drained the cabbage, it's time to add in our ingredients. So we just added in a little bit of butter and we're going to add in the spices that we talked about. Salt and pepper, marjoram, cumin, and that should be it. So our potatoes are still warm. I'm just gonna add some butter and then we're gonna mash them up. At this point, I usually add in some cream, but we didn't have any open in the fridge, so I just um, threw in some milk. <laughs> Alright, so after quite a bit of hard work, but not too much, we have a beautiful Polish meal, schab and kapusta, zimniaki, ready to go, still a little hot. <laughs> and I am starving, so thank you guys so much for joining me here. If you are cooking along with me, or if you're gonna go off and cook now, bon appetit. Smashnego!